Hi everyone, in this video to show you how to calibrate the Libra VNA. Okay, here have the port 1 and port 2. So this video to show you how to calibrate the port 1 and use the port 1 to measure an uh, antenna. Check the S11 and the VSWR and Smith chart. Okay, so this is the calibration kit. This is open, this is short, this is load, and this is the cable. Okay, SMA cable. So first we're going to turn on the software. Okay. And before that, we're going to connect the USB. Okay, the VNA USB. So it's connected to here. When we just connected, then you can see it's light up here. Okay, then we just go to the software. Okay, so just turn on the application. Yes. Okay, so you can see it's auto connected and they will automatically pop up like S11, the S12. S21 and the S22. This both is smith chart and here will be the magnitude and the phase. Okay, so for the connection, we can just like tap from here, connect to. So this is uh, our B, Libra VNA connection. Okay, then we're going to do the calibration. Okay, we also can load from the previous calibration uh, that we have calibrated, that we have saved the stack. Okay, so we can double click on each of the graph like this. Okay, or, the, or double click again and double click for the smith chart. Okay, so let's say I have previously have saved the cow kit. I can just load it and I can just call back my cow. Okay, so you can see now it's open. Okay, the cable is open. So you can check here is like the graph. We can choose like S11. So you can see it's magnitude here and here is the face. We can also check from the axis here. So magnitude and phase. Okay, so I can just check like linear and we can remove, oops, I can remove the S21 and the phase, I can just select S11. Okay, so this is open. All right, so then I can just like disable. Okay, then I can just do the calibration again. So I can just start calibration using like calibration measurement, I click on here. Okay, so this is my previous data. Okay, because I just now I just load it. So I can just delete. Okay, I can delete all. Okay, I can do the calibrate again. So, okay, so here. Okay, but at the first, you we also can set the frequency. Let's say it's like one gigahertz here, one giga until like 6 giga so uh, this Libra VNA right is until 6 giga okay so I set it 1 giga to 6 giga now and then I start to do the calibration so I just click on calibration measurement then I'm going to perform the calibration like short open load for port 1 okay so we can see from here okay now we're going to perform the calibration so we're going to perform the calibration for short open load, right? So start with short. Then we're going to do like, okay, so this is the short. Okay, then we just connect to the SMA cable here. Okay, so done. Then we go to the software. And we actually can double click on here. We can close it first and double click. Go to the smith chart. And we click on calibration, calibration measurement and we click on short here then we click measure okay then they have the time and date here and the 201 point from 1 gig to 6 gigahertz so now we're done and then now we go for the second one go for the load open here okay so we go for open So this is open calibration kits. So we just connect it and just leave it here. And we go to here and we just click on measure. Okay, now they save the for the open. Then now we go for the load. Okay, so the load will be this one. This will be the load. Okay, then we just click on pop one load, just measure. Okay, then done. Okay, now we're done for our calibration for short open load. Okay, then we close it. 
then we can just set it like port 1 here because we're done for the creation so you can see the smith check is here okay that means we are connecting the load now okay with the load okay so it's here so we can just right click and put a marker at marker now it's not showing 50 ohm right so actually it's data here we just right click data from the table we can just change to impedance okay now you can see here it's like 50 ohm okay then let's say i change to open okay let's say i remove this one okay so you can see the open condition now so we can before we connect to the open calibration kits right we also can check the open result from the software so you can see the open result is here let's say i connect the software now okay i connect the calibration kits open okay then you can see here it's like yeah now it's in condition of open okay then let's say i remove the open i go for short okay i go for short now here I just connect to the short okay okay so you can see the graph now okay it's at short here okay so now we've done our calibration okay remove the short okay then we go for measure the antenna we also can check for the s1 also okay so now you can see the s the s1 is like this okay we also can like change the axis of the magnitude okay we can change here to let's say 50 negative 50 and this one is like 10 db we just click ok so you can see now it's like 10 0 negative 10 until negative 50 so the s axis will be 1 giga until 6 giga here okay let's see i put the load here okay yeah so you can see it's like below negative 50 so we also can check on the axis let's say we put it like negative 100 okay so you can see like when we put on load it's like below like almost like negative 40 in the frequency range let's say we put like open okay we connect with open so the line is a straight line okay so done next we're going to measure the antenna okay so now i connect the antenna here okay this antenna is like 2.4 to 7 gigahertz uh uwb antenna ultra wideband antenna so i just connect it now okay so the result should be 2.4 here okay they are dropping from 2.4 until 7 gigahertz so you can see they have like good s11 okay below negative 10 from 2.4 until 7 gigahertz but this vna is support until like 6 giga so we only can monitor until 6 giga okay we also can add like marker here okay and then we can move it like here so you can check here is like we can also right click this one make it back to db okay this one we can direct to see like db and the angle or you can just check on angle okay so now it's like 2.55 is negative 38 here okay i also can add an, another marker then i click on here i can just set it I can direct set it like 2.4 okay 2.4 giga okay so you can see it's like negative 17.65 okay so this nano vna right so this libra vna can measure for like until 6 gigahertz okay it actually can measure from it actually can measure from 100 kilohertz until 6 gigahertz okay so let's say we want to save the stack right okay that means our calibration measurement that we save here so we're going to save this then we just like click on save 
okay and then we can change to like let's say cow here okay we can say like port 1 1 gigahertz until 6 gigahertz 0 to 0 1 point we save it okay let's say I remove my antenna now okay I remove it okay so you can see the graph is yes almost a straight line for the open status somewhere here somewhere like this okay let's say I just disable disable the calibration so you can see the graph is uh, going down without the calibration Okay, let's say I enable port 1 then they are like calibrated uh, S11 okay so let's say I close my Ribra VNA okay I open again the software and then you can see the file here let's say I change to S11 I remove the S12 and S12 here so you can see this one is the uncalibrated S11 because they have no calibrated file and disable so the file is empty we can just load it from our previous save file cow and here is like port 1 uh, 1 giga to 6 giga then we just open it and the result is not that okay here because it is starting from 1 giga we, we can set it by assist set up and go for the frequency we can just unclick here and just check it like minimum is 1 giga until 6 giga okay something like this okay so that's all for how to calibrate the port 1 the Ribra VNA and how to measure the antenna using the Ribra VNA okay thank you